I might have something here. Ooh. I did. I did a haul, you guys. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, oh my goodness, thank you so much. It means the world to me. If you're not new around here, you know I'm trying to keep my purchases in check. I, I'm not doing a no-buy, that's for sure. But I feel like I'm doing a low buy. I'm trying to be cautious. I'm trying to keep organized 2021. I don't even know what year it is. Trying to keep organized. Trying to keep my collection in a usable, sustainable state. But I did receive a gift card for Christmas. So you know it was burning a hole in my pocket. If you want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. Not only did I get a gift card for Christmas from my dad, which was so appreciated. Ulta happened to send me a $10 off coupon, so I couldn't resist doing a little haul. I didn't go crazy. I feel like I was cautious. I was careful. I really thought about my purchases. Like, I put everything in my shopping cart. You know, I'd add something, think about it for a day, delete it, add something, think about it for a half a day. You know, I just did the whole thing. I just tried not to be so impulsive tried to really think what do I need what could I use what do I feel like is missing from my collection so yes let's just dive right in first let's talk about skincare I do have my little backup skincare stash St stash not stash stash and a lot of it is stuff I've received in boxycharm so it's kind of like a little bit random and there's a couple things that I felt like I was really missing for once I get done with my current skincare routine. Which, speaking of, I really need to film that video. I want to do one more pregnant skin... I can't talk. I want to do one more pregnancy skincare video before I'm done being pregnant. Which could be like any day now. So I should probably do that tomorrow. But before I get way off topic I picked up two skincare items skincare can be so expensive and I was really trying to keep as close to the gift card amount that I had which was fifty dollars so I didn't want to get anything crazy high-end but that's okay because I seriously love this brand I've used them before this is the ordinary if you don't know anything about them they are known for being very 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 affordable but also extremely good quality the things that I felt like I was going to be missing in my skincare backup stash up there is a good oil my current favorite oil that I've been using on my face is rosehip oil I love it I'm using one right now I think it's by Elemis which is very expensive and instead I picked up the rosehip oil by The Ordinary. It's 100% cold pressed, so affordable. I'll link everything down below so you guys can look at pricing. I love that it's in a glass bottle. I love that it's a dropper. And I feel like there's a really decent amount of product in there. And I have used this before and I do like it. And then the only other thing I felt like I would be missing in my backup stash is a good old fashioned moisturizer. I have like some other kind of like acids and exfoliators and things like that, but I didn't have a go-to moisturizer in there, so I decided to try theirs. I don't know if I've ever used this. There is a chance years ago I tried it, but I can't fully remember. This is their Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, which I believe is hyaluronic acid. So uh, this says apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration. And also the bottle is really big. Like that's a good size moisturizer. Again, I don't know the price off the top of my head. Does it tell me in here? No, of course not. That would be too easy. But again, it's very cheap. It's the ordinary. It'll be linked down below for you guys. I just can't get over how big this package is. I, I, hope, I hope I like it. That's all I got for skincare because again, I'm trying to keep things condensed. I really want to use what I have up there. I was just adding those few little items that I feel like I needed. And now let's dive into the makeup portion. One thing I had to replace because I had the other one for so long, but it is seriously my favorite. It is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. It is the only glitter liner I need in my collection. For one, I think the quality of this is extremely good. It is not the cheapest. I think it was like $24 for this little bottle, but it lasts forever. I had the other one far too long. I don't even want to admit how long. 
but the wand is great. It's really easy to get a defined line. I love the color of this because it's like a gold, but I feel like it also has silver in there. So I, I can wear it with a cool toned eye or a warm eye. My favorite thing to do with it is when I do a cut crease to define the edge like today. <laughs> Oh, this look might call for me slapping this on after this video. But I just love this because it's so easy to get a really pretty glitter line without it getting all gloopy and glumpy. Like this is just really good quality and it's just so universal with the gold and the silver in there. I love that I can use it for basically any look because just having one on hand is nice. Anything more than that, it's just going to end up sitting there forever and never get used up. This one was a little bit of an impulse buy. I am so bad at picking foundation shades, you guys. So bad. And I noticed as I was kind of pulling out my new foundations as I was restocking my collection, I think I want a little tan on a few. Like this one today, I had to mix with a lighter concealer to get it to match me. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab a Hue Shifter. This is the new one by NYX. It's their Total Control Pro, which I think is basically just like their control drops they had before but a little bit different we'll see what I think is it something I'm going to use all the time no but is it nice to have on hand when your foundation just doesn't match you yes I'm hoping it'll mix in okay I'm hoping it won't change the texture of the foundations too much I think I will give this a try tomorrow to see what I think of it should I film a video for you guys? I should probably film a video for you guys. I need to give this a try before, you know, it's too late to return it. So that way if I don't like it, I can return it. I did see they also had like yellows and reds and ones to deepen. So if you are like me and you struggle with picking your foundation shade, it might be worth checking out. Again, I haven't tried it, so don't take my word for it quite yet. And then I did pick up two blushes. These are really the only thing I feel like I was kind of missing in my collection. I've been wanting to play with some punchy blushes, some colors that are a little bit different. The first one is by ColourPop. This is in Petal Pusher. It said it was a lavender. Ooh, this is interesting. On camera, it looks extremely lavender. In person, it looks... Like it's definitely lavender, but like leaning pink, kind of a bubblegummy color. I'm very excited to play with this. I just feel like in the springtime, this is going to be so fun. And you know, I don't have anything at all like this color. I have lots of like peachy tones, warm tones, nothing like this. And then, like I said, I wanted to play with some color. So this one, this one is going bold. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to look on me. It could look real horrible, you guys. Like, real horrible. But I saw some pictures of people wearing a blush like this. And I was like, I love it. It might be um, edgier than I am. But I thought it was so fun and so neat. This is not a color I will probably wear very often. But I had to try it. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks in Golden Rod. No. I just made that up. Silence is golden. It's gold. Full on gold toned blush. Will that look just disgusting on my skin tone? It could. It really could, but I seriously wanted to try it. I saw a look where they used like a golden yellow eyeshadow and then they did the gold blush and they really kept it on the outer edge of their cheek so it kind of like blended in with the eye look. There was just something about it. I was like, that is so neat. And I feel like if you just throw threw some faux freckles on there, I don't know, there's something about it. It might look horrible. <laughs> it might be like a one-time look. But at least I can say I tried. And then I thought, well, maybe I could kind of, you know, put this in with some of my other blushes and make them a little bit more orangey toned if I wanted to. We'll see. I've never really tried mixing blushes, but hey, why not? Just so you guys can see um, out of the box, I just got the white shade. It's like a pure white. It's actually called light, but to me that just looks like paper white. I am noticing though, hopefully you can see. I don't know. Oh, there. Like that full on. That's weird. That full on moves like water. That full on like moves like pure liquid versus a foundation which usually has some like thickness to it when you move the bottle it kind of takes a second for it to move down the bottle but this this is like very very 
liquidy. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little curious about that one. But you guys, that is everything I picked up for my little Ulta haul. I know it's nothing crazy, but you know I love sharing it with you guys. All right, that's all for this video. It is very short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were doing well. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.